Well, it's officially January 1st, 2013, and I received the email. It's 3 o'clock. <laughs> from Dr. Golpa's Dental Implant Center that I won the 2012 Smile Makeover Contest. I, I'm i exhausted. I've been through a range of emotions. I've jumped for joy. I've cried. I've done it all. You name it. Um, I haven't completely processed it yet, so I think I have to sleep on it because it doesn't even seem real. Um, first of all, I want to sincerely, like not generic, you know, thank you guys. No, I really want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for voting for me because I couldn't have done this on my own. There's, there's no way. You guys gave me a gift. You guys gave me this. This is your gift to me because I couldn't have done it without you. So thank you for all of the votes that you give me, the time that you invested in it. Um, thank you for sharing my link with others and trying to pass along the information to everybody else to try to get them to vote. Um, thank you for the messages and all the support and encouragement. Um, I just can't thank you enough. Like, I feel like I owe you something. <laughs> like, I just cannot thank you enough because y'all have pretty much made my dreams come true. Like, this is my biggest dream in life. Um, I just got off the phone with my sister. She's been my biggest cheerleader through this whole thing because she's known me for so long and she knows how much I wanted this. Um... And she brought up a good point. She was like, uh, Christy, just think about where you were at two years ago. And she's so right because two years ago, I was nothing like I am today. I was hopeless. I was completely hopeless. I had spent almost 10 years of my life completely ashamed and humiliated, miserable. I missed out on all of my young adulthood doing all of the things that people my age were doing. I, I never went to prom. I never got to experience, you know, college life in a dorm or anything. Like, I had extremely low standards for myself and my life because I did not feel worth it for so long. And then I lost my teeth at 26 years old. And then now here I am about to get implants. And that does, doesn't seem real because when I was about 21, 22 years old, and I was a single mother, I was living with my parents, and I was bartending on the weekends, because my son, he, um, he was having issues, developmental issues. Well, now we know that he has autism, um, but back then, I had no idea and so I was trying to get him the help that he needed, and I was working part-time on the weekends so that I'd have that time for him during the week. Well, you know, being in that kind of situation, I didn't have dental insurance. I didn't have money to get all of my teeth fixed or anything like that. And so what I would do was I would sit there and I would Google dental or smile makeover contests, and I entered a few of them, and... I knew that I'd never win them because I knew that everybody else had like way better networking skills than me and everybody knew way more people. Like there was no way that I would ever win that, but I would keep that little bit of hope just enough so that I could in my head imagine it, you know, imagine my reaction, like how I would feel if that was to happen to me because it wouldn't just be about giving me my smile back. It would be about giving me my life back and everything that I had been missing for so long. I would finally have that. So right now, talking on this video, it just doesn't even seem real. Like it seems like I'm lying. Like I'm lying to myself to make me feel good or something because this would never happen for me. Nothing like this could ever happen for me. That's why I have to sleep on it because it just doesn't seem real because this is that miracle that I had hoped for for so long and everything happens for a reason everything happens for a reason my dentures they gave me my smile back they gave me my confidence back and they allowed me to help other people 
through their situation um, when they felt as alone as I felt. And I'm, I am very thankful that I was put in a position to be able to do that for you guys. Um, I've met a lot of people who had pretty similar experiences to mine. And now I can tell you guys that if you keep positive about things, good things can happen to you. As long as you stay optimistic and don't get so hopeless hold on to a little bit of hope and something can happen for you because now I am one of those people that can say oh well this happened for me <laughs> even when I thought you know I, I would never be one of those people I've never won a contest in my life and now I'm winning the biggest contest of my life like this is something I've wanted for a long time and I can't believe that it's about to happen I really wish that everybody could win you know I I'm serious I really mean that because nobody should have to have pain because of their teeth nobody should experience pain because of their teeth um, nobody should experience the humiliation that comes with losing your teeth or anything like that. Like, And that's why I feel so blessed because I don't feel like I deserve this any more than anybody else does. We all deserve this. We all deserve to have the smile of our dreams. So I wish that we all could win. Um, everybody, every con uh, contestant that has entered this contest has had a really compelling story and I just wish that we all could have that dream smile um, but to all of my subscribers who have pushed me through to this final ending <laughs> I just I can't thank you enough and I can't wait to go to Vegas and get these implants and document that experience and share that with you guys. Um, Y'all have been awesome. Like, I'm really emotional right now. I feel like I'm going to start crying. It just is, it, does, it doesn't seem real at all to me. Um, wow. <laughs> this is like a, a really good New Year, huh? Like, you know how whenever New Year's rolls around and you think about you know, starting over fresh. Well, this is my fresh start in life. I just can't even believe it. Um, Dr. Gopa is going to be in touch with me very soon to discuss the details of everything. And as soon as I get more information, I am going to share it with you guys. I can't believe this is happening. I'm probably going to get off of here and I'm going to go scream and shake my husband and say, can you believe it? <laughs> I just... Yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for making my dreams come true. You all mean so much to me for this. I just am going to have to go and process everything. So I hope everybody's enjoying their new year. I hope you all have a happy and safe new year. And you guys take care.